I'm not a detective, my name's not Columbo, but that being said, I've been blessed or cursed with a brain that just always connects dots. And when it connects the dots regarding Arta Baturbiev and his career, I got a sneaky suspicion that he's on a collision course with Jai Opataya and I couldn't be happier about it. Now, let me explain to you guys what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys think I'm crazy, but hear me out. So in the fight week for the Callum Smith fight, Arta Baturbiev was telling the media that basically he doesn't want to do a Bernard Hopkins. He doesn't want to go on to his 50, but he still thinks he's got a good three to five years left in his career. Now, when you look at the landscape at light heavyweight, he's pretty much done all he needs to do there. He's got one big fight there, and that's the undisputed fight. And I suspect that fight's going to come along probably later on in the year. Maybe at the start of Riyadh season number two or whatever. Or maybe if they can turn it around quick enough, maybe they'll put it on Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou's undercard. I doubt it. Arta Baturbiev's 39 years old. He's probably going to need time to recoup, regenerate, rest, and then prepare himself for an undisputed fight against Dimitri Bivol. So realistically... You're probably looking towards the end of the year or second half of the year, maybe summertime or whatever, but it's likely not going to be too soon in the future. And once that fight's out of the way, once Undisputed is settled one way or another, what else does Artur Baturbiev do or have to prove at £175? I don't think there's anything else left for him to prove, do, or anyone else for him to beat at that division once he has the uh, Dimitri Bivol fight. Unless, of course, Canelo Alvarez wants to step up to £175 and try and beat the other king of the division. Now, I don't know which way the undisputed fight is going to go, but let's say that Artur Baturbiev wins and he's undisputed. Maybe Canelo will step up and try and fight him for undisputed. Now, I seriously, seriously doubt that, but you never know. It, stranger things have happened. But if Canelo doesn't step up and Artur Baturbiev wins, well, he goes up to Cruiserweight as undisputed champion. And that means, basically... That he can go up and fight for the WBO title straight away. And currently, Chris Billum Smith is the holder of the WBO title. I don't know if, if that will be the case in like, I don't know, six months down the line or whatever. Maybe not. But if it is, Artur Baturbiev, in theory, could go up and immediately get a direct title shot for the WBO strap. Because that's basically how it works. If you go up as undisputed, you get a direct shot. It worked for Alexander Usyk and it worked for Terence Crawford. So... Arthur Baturbia would find himself in a position to basically get that WBO strap. And to be honest with you guys, I don't see Chris Bidham Smith giving Arthur Baturbia any problems whatsoever. So Arthur Baturbia would basically, in my opinion at least, become a two weight world champion should he choose to go up after winning a potential undisputed fight. And in that case, in that scenario, that leads him straight to Jai Opataya. Jai Opataya's craving for that belt is the one that his grandfather wants. He wants the WBO belt. There's no reason why Jai Opataya and Arta Baturbiev wouldn't be able to fight, in my opinion. It looks like they're on a collision course if Baturbiev wins. But to be honest with you guys, I actually think they're on a collision course even if Baturbiev doesn't win. I think I've heard somewhere that they've already offered the fight to Dimitri Bivol or they offered Jai Opataya the Dimitri Bivol fight. I'm not sure which way around that was, but essentially they're happy to match light heavyweights with cruiserweights. And if Arta Baturbiev, as I say, if he cleans up at light heavyweight, the natural thing progression for him to do is to go up anyway, even if he loses to Dimitri Bivol. Let's say he has two fights and he loses to Dimitri Bivol, and then he decides that, you know what, I can't do this weight anymore, I want to go up and try something else. Even then, after losing to Dimitri Bivol, the Jai Opataya fight would still be appealing, because you can lose against a high-class boxer, and it's not the end of the world, especially if you're a proven slugger, and you're going to go in against someone else who's a proven slugger. For me, that fight is a perfect fight. To be honest with you guys, if they were to say to me tomorrow or today or whatever, we're not going to get undisputed at light heavyweight. Dimitri Bivol has got an injury. Arta Baturbiev, he's going to vacate all his belts. He's going to go up to cruiserweight and he's going to fight Jai Opataya just for the ring magazine belt. I'd be like, Do you know what, cool, like, undisputed fight. I, I was all for it, but at the end of the day, it didn't happen. Let's have this one instead. Like, it wouldn't hurt me at all. It wouldn't bother me that much. In fact, if I'm being brutally honest with you guys, I'm not even that big of a fan of Undisputed. And you guys will say, what are you talking about? Undisputed, it proves who's the best. And us boxing fans, we want to know who's the best. Yeah, I get. I kind of get that aspect to it. But look, we just had Terence Crawford against Errol Spence Jr., right? Everyone found out, yeah, great. Now Terence Crawford is the better guy. Now what? Now we're stuck into a rematch that no one wants. People talking about cataract operations, talking about hill running and acclimatizing to this, that and the other. You've got Terence Crawford threatening retirement, not looking to take on any of his mandatories. Like, what was the outcome of that fight? Fair enough, we found out that Terence Crawford was better than Errol Spence, but it didn't help the division. Like, people are still waiting for their shots. It's not like one became undisputed and then started fighting their mandatories. Terence Crawford has got no intention whatsoever of fighting any mandatories. Now, because he's, like, undisputed or whatever, he thinks he's a shot caller, and it shouldn't be that way. I prefer Terence Crawford when he had one belt, and they were chucking mandatories on him, and he had no choice but to fight them. Now he's one undisputed. He thinks he's the king, and 
it kind of just has a knock-on effect, a negative knock-on effect for the rest of boxing. I'll give you another example. You've got Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury coming up. Everyone for the last two years what I've been saying, undisputed, we, we need to see it, we have to see it. It's all great. Let's say we do see it and February 17th, we may well. One of them's going to win, one's going to lose. Great, we're going to know who is the better out of the two. That's a given. You know, we That's what we all want to find out. But at the same time, if Alexander Usyk wins, that's likely the end of his career. Tyson Fury wins. You never know. He's probably going to retire as well. It's like, as a part of me, it would rather have people anticipating undisputed and waiting for it and yearning for it and not getting it just so we can keep the excitement going. Because once it actually happens and it materialises, we're left with a situation like Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. Anyway, I'm waffling on too much about undisputed. Back to Jai Opataya potentially taking on Arta Baterbiev one day. I mean, I, the way I see it is it's natural progression. If Jai Opataya stays at Cruiserweight and Arta Baterbiev goes up after his undisputed fight, I think that with the record of Arta Baterbiev and his knockout streak, especially if he knocks out Dimitri Bevo as well, and you've got Jai Opataya, like one of my favourite fighters, alongside Arta Baterbiev, to be fair. He's just a beast. It's like two aggressive styles coming together. Even the thought of it is, is exciting. And I'm all for it. I hope my hunch is right. I hope they are on a collision course. And one day, I would like to see that fight. I would like to see that fight a lot. I can't see how it could potentially be a bad fight. That's all I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. But don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.